Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of stock index futures. I'll start with UK FTSE futures. A second bullish white soldier yesterday and a more than suitable follow on higher to the previous session's bullish, pi bullish piercing line pattern. These last two days actions have been the result of the first two days actions of this week's attempts to push down below the combination of the flatlining short medium moving average, currently 74.03 and a half, and the ever so slowly rising medium moving average, currently 73.99 and a half, and not managing to do so. Hence the reaction back up. However, the reaction back up has also been muted as we have some sizable resistances overhead from the recent April base double top between 7,500 to 7,636. So far today, a small attempt higher, but as I said earlier, muted due to resistances between 7,500 to 7,636. Hence, we're looking at a higher but bearish black crow right now. German DAX futures. A second bullish white soldier yesterday as the market showed its displeasure at previously punching down and closing below the white congestion band 13804 to 14079 by opening higher within that band and closing towards the upper part of the congestion. Overhead, we now have the neckline currently at 14209 of the December 2021 to February 2022 head and shoulder top as well as the falling short medium moving average currently at 14263 plus the 50% Fibonacci line for the whole of 2022 so far at 14343. So far today an attempt higher but seemingly fa falling at the first hurdle which is the neckline and actually looking like a small indecisive spinning top right now. US E-mini S&P futures. A second bullish white soldier yesterday, which was in turn a follow on higher from the previous session's inverted hammer pattern. And that was nearby the recent low. Now prices punched up through and closed over the middle time, currently 42.59, of the early January to late March bearish shift pitchfork. But interestingly ran into a bit of a brick wall at the lesser 61.8% Fibonacci line of the late February to late March move of 43.04. This was the second time the market had been stopped dead there this week. Not a good sign for the bulls, I think. One other thing to think and to watch about for when there, there is a chance that the declining medium moving average, currently 45.29, may make a dead cross of the currently flatlining long moving average, currently 45.23. Just keep an eye out for on for that one. So far today, a significant lower open below the middle time with only a test up to the previous close before prices have dipped again to just under today's open and making it look like an indecisive doji cross right now with perhaps bearish tendencies. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investors International Limited. And here comes the final bit.